Hey guys, welcome to another video in tech series playlist. In this video, let's see what is a gear, nomenclature of a gear, different types of a gear, working and application. So what is a gear? Gear is a transmission element that transfer power and torque from one point to another point in a transmission line. Obbing, broaching, grinding and milling are common machining process to cut gear teeth. Gears are also called as cocks informally. Depending upon gear profile and position of axis, the gears are classified as spur gear, helical gear, rack and pinion gear, bevel gear and worm gear. There are few more other gears. These five are most commonly used gears. Before getting into these gears, first let's understand the nomenclature of gears. Nomenclature of gear Addendum circle The outer circle touching the outermost points of the teeth. Pitch circle the imaginary rolling circle produced during rotation by mating gears. Clearance circle. The circle from which the involute tooth profile is developed. Dedendum circle. The circle touching the bottom of the tooth profile. Addendum. Radial distance between the pitch dia and the outside dia. Dedendum. Radial distance from the depth of the tooth to the pitch surface. Tooth thickness. The thickness of the gear tooth measured along the pitch. Circular pitch. The length of the arc along the pitch circle between corresponding points of adjacent teeth. Face width. The face width of the gear is the length of the teeth in an axial plane. Tooth face. The mating surface of the gear tooth between the addendum circle and the pitch circle. Tooth flank. The mating surface of the gear tooth measured between the pitch circle and the base circle. Backlash. Amount of clearance between the mated gear teeth. Spur gear. Spur gear are simple gears where teeth are parallel to the axis of rotation. Merits of spur gears are low cost and easy to manufacture. Power transmission efficiency ranges between 95% to 99%. Spur gears are used in conveyor system, washing machine, gear pumps and motors, transmissions and in few more. Helical gear. In helical gear, teeth are at an angle to the gear axis. Helix angle ranges between 15 to 30 degrees. Helical gear operates more smoothly and quietly when compared to spur gear due to its interaction of teeth. Merits of helical gear are Noise reduction Transmission torque is large as it has more surface contact. Demerits are Helical gears are a bit difficult to manufacture and cost of manufacturing is also high. Helical gears are used in elevators, printing industries, textile, food and plastic industries and in few more. Rack and pinion gear. It is a type of linear actuator that comprises a circular gear called pinion engaging with a linear gear called rack. It converts rotational motion to linear motion. Merits of rack and pinion gear. Rack and pinion gear gives easier and more compact control over the vehicle. It is cheap, compact and robust. Demerits are less durability and causes more vibration. Rack and pinion gears are used in rack elevator, steering and in few more. Bevel gear. Bevel gears are conical toothed wheels that used to transmit power between two perpendicular shafts. Teeth of bevel gear can be either straight or spiral. Merits of bevel gear are Sliding friction is less Power transmission efficiency ranges between 94 to 97% Demerits are They are expensive Limited gear ratio And must be precisely mounted Bevel gears are used in Locomotives Automobiles Printing presses Power plants, steel plants and in few more Warm gears Warm gear transmit motion between axes that are perpendicular to each other by warm engaging with a driving warm wheel. Merits of warm gear are noise reduction and high load capacity. Demerits are lower performance. Efficiency ranges between 50 to 90 percent. Friction is more which causes wear and tear of warm gear. Warm gears are used in elevators, automobiles, steering mechanism, musical instruments, 
speed reducers and in few more applications.